it was recently announced that Love Live School Idol Festival will be ending service on March 31st. With a lot of people online basically treating this as the franchise's final nail in the coffin. This couldn't be further from the truth. Even ignoring the fact that School Idol Festival is probably going to come out by the end of May at the latest, we've had, or are getting this year, just off the top of my head, School Idol Musical, which is being performed as recent as, like, a couple weeks ago, I'm pretty sure. There's the Nijion anime, which is ongoing, Sunshine in the Mirror, Superstar Season 3, that... Niji OVA, which I don't really know much about. I'm kind of grateful for the fact that it exists because I'm pretty sure it led to people on YouTube looking up Love Live OVA and finding my video on the Muse OVA. It's Joe! And that's not even getting into tons of tie ins and albums and concerts, I'm sure are happening or coming up, but I don't really keep track of that kind of stuff because there's so much in this franchise it's hard to keep up with, but that's exactly my point. The franchise is far from dead. Hi, Editing Marina here. I forgot to mention, mention the digital virtual school idol app thing that I still have no clue what the fuck it's meant to be, but it's a thing that's happening this year too. <laughs> but then... Why are a lot of people acting like it is? I've seen a lot of posts asking why people are acting like Love Live is dead or some forgotten relic when it's going stronger than ever, but I think in a way, Love Live School Idol Festival closing, even with a sequel coming out, is the end of an era for a lot of people. I think a lot of people suspect that the franchise probably continued, probably got another anime, gradually faded, and this is the final death nail. Because for a lot of people, I don't think the franchise has been relevant since like 2017. <laughs> I think the people saying this are all more general fans who fell off the series around 2017 or so, which is when I'd argue that the franchise in general lost relevancy in the West. I talked about this a bit in my Sunshine video, but the franchise was really picking up steam after the anime was created in 2013, but with the retirement of Muse basically right as the franchise was taking off. In 2016, they were left to gamble with starting over, basically. Aqua and Sunshine pulled that off. There is a reason we're here today, and I'd argue right now is what Love Live was always intended to be. It was intended to be a multimedia project with tons of different animes and casts and concerts and all of that stuff. And that only really started happening, I'd say, around 2019-2020, and that was only possible because Sunshine and Aqua did well. But Sunshine is a lot harder of a show to get into than School Idol Project was. Like it or not, I think it turned a lot of people away. And School Idol Festival, which came out in 2014 worldwide, for a lot of people was their introduction into the franchise, but as the game got older and new rhythm games came out and the anime began to turn some people away and the characters that people associated with the franchise, don't forget that 2016, right around when Muse was retiring, is when the Siva Gunner Snow Halation meme took off. <laughs> And even to this day, I feel like the things that are most well-known, at least in the West from Love Live, are Nico Nico Ni nee and Snow Halation. And just over time, things faded. And now, School Idol Festival isn't really important to the Love Live brand as a whole. At least I'm pretty sure from the franchise holder point of view. From their perspective, they want to sell concert tickets and merchandise. The gacha game is probably a drop in the ocean of how much Love Live makes at this point. 
But for a lot of people, it was the cornerstone of the franchise. And I think, in general, when it started to lose popularity is around when Love Live as a whole began to fade in the West. In Japan, the series is more popular than ever, but here it basically is a forgotten relic of the mid-2010s. In general, anime, and especially pop culture, Love Live isn't really remembered anymore. Well, it's remembered, but it's not really popular anymore. It has its fans in the West, but that's about it. I feel like there's a lot of little things that point this out. Like, the School Idol movie, for instance, has its own Wikipedia page, and had a release less than six months after it was released in Japan and the US. Over the Rainbow, which was released in early 2019 in Japan, took over a year to get dubbed is basically a footnote on the Sunshine anime page. And then there's also All Stars, which was announced in 2017, took until late 2019 to come out in Japan, didn't come out until 2020 in the US, and the Niji anime happened a bit after that, and then Superstar started, and yeah. I think in that time, people just began to lose interest. I honestly think a school idol festival sequel or a big update basically was needed in like 2018 to keep the game competitive and to keep people interested in the West, but they didn't do that. They couldn't because All Stars was in development and they didn't want to compete with that and then All Stars ended up not being that and turning away rhythm game fans, so... Here we are. This has been mostly an unscripted ramble. I just felt like talking about this because it's interesting to me. Love Live is bigger than ever in Japan, but for a lot of people, this basically does mark the end. It's probably the first time they've thought about the series in years. Some might get back into it with School Idol Festival too, but I doubt that franchise holders really care that much.